more we can give in our silent prayer, the more we can give in our active life. With this beautiful thought, a warm and cheerful good morning to respected father, principal, sisters, teachers, parents and all my dear friends. I am Jyotika Shah from Standard 5th A along with my classmates are going to conduct today's digital assembly. Prayer is the link that connects us with God. So I would like to call on Shjai for the prayer. We shall overcome, we shall overcome, shall overcome. Father Principal to lead us with the prayer. Happy morning, my dear students. Let us begin this day with a small prayer. Almighty God, source of life, we worship and praise you. You are the truth and origin of all knowledge. Bless us that we may study well, obey our parents and teachers and be honest in our behavior. Lead us from darkness to light. Bless our studies and enlighten our intellect. Grant us the grace to seek truth and make us truly wise. Nobody is perfect, so that's why pencil have a razor. Now everyone join Dhuvraj Dhanwani for school anthem. <laughs> My sir, Pia Anandani of Standard 5th A is here before you to say thoughts of the day. Challenges make you more responsible. Always remember that a life without struggle is a life without success. Don't give up and learn not to quit. The future depends on what you do today. Now I would like to call Harika Mehta for speech. Good morning all, I am Harika Mehta and I am going to tell you about one of the most famous and loved by all president of India who was also one of the greatest scientists. Yes, Abul Pakir Jainaluddin Abdul Kalam. He was an aerospace scientist who also served as the 11th president of India from 2002 to 2007. He was born and raised in Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu and he studied physics and aerospace engineering. He remained committed in using science and technology to transform India into a developed country. 
In 2007, Abdul Kalam left office and was succeeded by Mrs. Patel, the country's first woman president. In Abdul Kalam wrote several books including an autobiography, Wings of Fire, in 1999. Among his numerous awards were two of the country's highest honors, the Padma Vibhushan in 1990 and the Bharat Ratna in 1997. Thank you. Now I would like to call Tithi Parma to say some proverbs. Let's listen. Father Principal, teachers and all my dear friends, today I am Tithi Parma of class 5th A is going to speak about why we should celebrate even small victories. In today's world, we are made to see big dreams and encouraged to be greatly successful by our teachers and parents. In this race of being super achievers, we forget to value small victories and achievements which are necessary to make us happy, motivate us to keep going and build our self-confident. These are stepping stones for those high long-term targets we have set for ourselves. So never make this mistake of ignoring these small unplanned games. Celebrate them to the utmost every day. Thank you. Have a nice day. Ask not what your country can do it for you. Ask what you can do it for your country. So now I would like to call Sudha Andrew ma'am for pledge. India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and I am proud of its rich and varied heritage. I shall always try to be worthy of it. I shall respect my parents, teachers, and all my elders and treat everyone with courtesy. I pledge my devotion to my country and its people. My happiness lies in their well-being and prosperity. Now I would like to thank Father Principal for giving us this opportunity. Now get ready for National Anthem. <laughs>